Welcome back, dear viewer. Thank you so much for following African Morning Breakfast Show. We are coming to you from our studio right here in South Sudan, capital, Juba. And we are talking about women rights and girl rights in the Republic of South Sudan compared to that of other African countries and also reflecting back to the International Conference on Women uh, that was just concluded earlier last week, 15th of February, here in Juba. And right here, let me welcome back my guests, Monica and Adeng. You're welcome back. Thank you. As we just went for break, uh, I did this mention that uh, from quoting uh, Excellency the first Vice President, Rebecca Nyandeng de Mabio, saying 60% of the women failure belong to you, that you keep backbiting yourself as women, and I don't know whether it is true or not she was a woman she's a woman and she's the one who said so i don't know whether you will agree with her or do you disagree with her so monica do you agree with her yeah i agree with her because uh, we women we uh, we are too much on that we don't support ourselves unless if you're a strong person you force yourself then if you win that's where women will support you but from beginning to start process is not easy they can but fight your your back until you might say that I will not manage but we need to stop it and we'll be having training that uh, to stop this feeling mm. for others and let do as women so what 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 do you think that what give women that spirit of like they want to de uh, demote each other Actually, I see is that the uh, spirit of jealous. Yeah, it's jealous. We are so jealous for ourselves. We don't support ourselves as women. Mm. Yeah, you don't see a woman that, oh, if it's a bad person, is ah, we, we are the same level. How come she be, she went far? Which reason? Uh, Monica, so, yeah. are you jealous? No, I'm not a jealous person. <laughs> 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 well, thank you so much. Let me come to um, Adeng and let's, let's look to the statement of Her Excellency the Vice President. So do you agree or disagree? Uh, um, the co uh, what she has said actually is true. Uh, we like by biting each other and these things come out of the competition. And usually a person who bites and a person who is jealous about the other person does not have confidence of herself. Or let me say even himself. You guys have competition too. It's not only women. But our competition <laughs> is soft. You know? Mm. We backbite each other. The only thing we have is our mouth. But you guys can actually go beyond, you know, even your mouth and use some hand and all these things, you know? It's soft killing and it's low killing. Sorry to say that. <laughs> but mm. uh, for us, I always say that whoever has a competition, it should be a positive competition. It should not be backbiting to the point of downgrading your sister, you know. So this thing is there because of the level of positions that we have now in power. We have a specific positions that is given, you know. And for us in South Sudan, with our inflation, the economy is bad. And then also you have those positions that is so limited to women, okay. You try your best to keep that position for you, okay. And then you keep it there and you start maybe um, downgrading your sister. That's not the solution. Definitely the time will come. The election is coming. Mm. We'll be campaigning for who's coming and who's not coming, to be honest. So for us, it's very important as a woman to empower each other and put each other up. Because our competition is not ourselves. Our competition is more than ourselves. It's sometimes it's actually good to compete with yourself. So what, what Mama Rebecca said, uh, it is actually very important. She has want the women so that they don't block each other but it is a kind of you know 
facing each other to do better. Because women who are in power now can actually uplift other women. And they can make decisions, by the way, that is very powerful. That's why I, uh, when I mention about this uh, training of the, uh, the 80 women parliamentarian, this is when I was able to voice out what are the issues of women, what they are facing in the country, and say that, okay, there is this issue that they are facing. In your legislation priorities, please put it as your priority to solve issues of women. And this is how you advocate for the right of women. So whoever has a competition on backbiting and all these things downgrading mm. has an issue with herself. And by the way, there's a lot of trauma in this country. People need to heal. That's why so, it's so, not good. So, uh, Adeng, mm. if... if you agree, all of you agree here, yeah, that yeah. what uh, Her Excellency stated or said is right. Then, how will the advocacy for you as women, talking about women empowerment, that you need to be empowered and you need your right, how will you as women of South Sudan achieve that goal? To achieve that goal is, to be honest, also part of the resolution that came out. Uh, it was said that the capacity building of women to be in the leadership position. Actually, the resolution was very strategic, okay? And also, a woman to be part of the institutional reforms. That is very, very important. So for us to, sh to achieve that, we need more platforms like international conference, okay? I, in that platform, I have realized that there is actually you, young girls, they are missing in that platform. Young girls from school. Mm -hmm. Because it's very important. We are not trying to raise a generation that have the same issues as us. Competition issues. N negative competition, let me say. This, the reason why I say I, us, us, because every one of us has issues. And every one of us has a positive side. So, it is very important to build the capacity of every woman inclusive. People with disability, young girl, women, uh, women who are in business, women at the grassroots. It's very important to put ourselves on the same level okay. and uh, develop each other. Thank you. So uh, the resolution, mm. it says everything. Go through it, and it's especially in traditional reform, which is part of the peace agreement. Thank you. I know you, you, you are a human rights advocate, so you always want us to refer to, to anything related to law. And thank you so much, dear viewer, for following African Morning Breakfast Show. We are coming to you live right here in our studio from South Sudan, Capital Juba. And don't hesitate and don't forget to follow us on our Facebook page, that is SSBC TV. And you can leave your comment and share Morning Breakfast Show and other program right there on our page.